Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to build the Pioneer Home Edition, Pioneer Home with Edition, uh, item 1003-B. Dash A doesn't have the edition, the little pop out on the back. So we're going to build the one with the edition. So this is a kit. This is actually a structure that is uh, was built um, circa 1835 uh, in New York. And um, you know me, I love historical structures. So uh, thanks to Brian from Best Trains for allowing us to add this into uh, all of the series of uh, Best Trains kits that we're working on. So let's talk about the kit. Um, I will tell you that there's a couple of things that I did different than the instructions, but overall, they're really not that big a deal. Uh, I glued all the walls together, and then I put the windows in from the back side. Really wasn't that big a deal. Uh, but putting the glass in on the back side definitely was more difficult. So if you're thinking about following what I did, maybe uh, put the window, paint the walls, put the windows in, and then glue the walls. I just want everything squared up, and I didn't want the window sills and everything to interfere with as I was squaring up the walls. Not a huge deal. Um, also, the front steps, when uh, you have the little plaster pieces, they look a little wide to me. So I actually glued together the front steps. And then I cut them in half and used half for the front, half for the back. I thought it scaled better. Um, so, so you'll actually have some leftover pieces for some other uh, projects that you have. And then the chimney, the chimney is actually taller than what it looks like in the photo. So what I would tell you is uh, get a piece of scrap material and glue it up inside the roof. And that way when, you, uh, when it comes time to glue the chimney in, you actually have something to sit it on that doesn't just drop through to the floor. Um, uh, it's just a quick, easy little step. Also, you really want to add the uh, window coverings if you're going to glue the structure to the, the plaster cast base. If you're going to do that, get the window uh, coverings in there before you seal it up, or there is no turning back. So uh, it does have a cast plaster stone base, which is really cool looking. So um, uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, painting that, and those will show up in the uh, final photos. So let's get going. So uh, we're going to go through and do a parts overview like you know, we always do. And then we're going to go through every single step that we uh, went through to um, build the structure. And then we'll take a look at the finished product and wrap it up at the end. So let's get going.
Okay, guys, that's going to do it. Uh, one thing I didn't really cover very well in the video was uh, the copper flashing that goes on the very top. Um, I kind of made it look like a rusty penny. Um, so it's got a basically a, um, a metal uh, blackening solution that I put on it. And you got to be careful because it's adhesive on the bottom, so you don't want to soak it up too much. Um, and then I uh, darkened it with just a little bit of uh, uh, a darker paint. And then I gave it a little bit of a green patina on top of it. And I haven't done that before, so it was actually kind of fun to play with. So um, it looks pretty good. Um, but once again, I want to thank uh, you guys for watching. Um, I've enjoyed doing these uh, best ring kits. And uh, Brian, thanks again for allowing me to feature your products in our video series. Uh, until next time, guys, uh, take care, and I uh, will see you on the next video. See ya.